So I went on like a 150 mile ride the other day and I had my Senna on and it sounds so bad. I'm just so sick of the terrible audio in that thing. So today I'm gonna finally do something about it. I got these little speakers off of Amazon. They are supposed to be a replacement for the Bose Quiet Comfort series. And I've used these speakers in the past. My husband's uh, QC, Quiet Comfort, headphones crapped out. Anyway, I soldered these as replacements into his Bose headphones and he said he was not able to tell the difference between these and how they sounded prior to crapping out. And because these are so delicate, there's like just this little plastic cone on here. There's not much to it. I wanted to protect it, so I made a set of covers for them. And I just CAD designed these and 3D printed them, and they should fit right on the speaker, and they should protect that little plastic membrane in there. And these are the types of Christmas gifts that my husband gets me. This is a soldering station, and I'll show you why. I have put pickups, pots, or switches, and sometimes all three, in just about every one of these guitars. These are my husband's guitars. Obviously, he's a guitar player. And he's no dummy. He buys me the soldering stuff so I can do his dirty work. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the Senna out of the helmet here. see the speaker here. Hang on a second. Here, let's try that. That's what the speaker looks like in there. So we're gonna go ahead and pop those out. These are the speakers that are in there and they are uh, 32 ohm. So the replacements are also 32 ohm. Same size, 40 mil- ooh. Hmm. Let's go ahead and damage those right off the bat. They're 40 millimeter speakers. I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I know it's very small. They're like hair, frog hairs even. Not even people hair, frog hair. One of the dot is the positive. These look pre-tinned, but I don't know what they are. I'm gonna use hot glue for a strain relief since I don't have a real housing or collars. Fold these wires up and fold the sheathing back like that. And then I'll hot glue it. on this one or the uh, wire is pretty short so it's kind of hard to get a decent view of anything. Can't really move it around much. And on to the next problem. The old speaker's magnet is much smaller than this one. Again, maybe that's, I don't know much about speakers, but um, bigger is probably better. That's all I know about it. But I can't use the little Velcro guy that I took off of here, because it just obviously is not gonna fit. And even if I made the hole bigger to go around here, it's not gonna be thick enough to stick. This is quite a bit thicker than the, uh, old one. Now, can you see it? There's a circle on there. I 
That doesn't look centered. <laughs> That'll do for a template though. I have crunchy Velcro. The crunchy side, because that's what came off of here. I'll have to do this in two pieces. One here and one there. And that shouldn't be uh, too challenging. And it's fairly thick stuff, so I think that it'll stick out far enough. quite a bit lower. I might have to make a shim or something to bring that out a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna have to be thicker. Craft foam. Let's see if that does the trick. I don't want that to be any thicker than it has to be. So we'll just go around it. Yep, I think that'll do. Let's see how thick the Velcro is on top of there. I think that should work. This is E6000 glue. And I'll put just a little scrap of Velcro on just one of the little clippings in the center. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sticky. There. Hopefully that will do the trick. I better test it out before I reinstall it. Yeah, those are significantly louder than the old speakers. They have a lot more bass to them, too. All right, let's reinstall everything. Yeah, these just fit in the speaker pockets on the Simpson Mod Bandit. I don't know if that's a standardized size or anything like that. I don't, I don't know how helmets are done, but uh, they fit. And my communicator is a Senna SMH10, I think it's called. That's that one. They make a base for this that has a, instead of this being like hardwired to it, you can unplug it. I saw them on Amazon and I think they're about 45 bucks for that base that does that. And then you can plug like earbuds or, you know, if you had another set of speakers or whatever, but I don't know if you would find a set of speakers on wire like that you could use in here. You could probably disassemble like a pair of over-the-ear headphones and cannibalize those to make something. But I think you would still be making something. But if you're not the kind of person that likes to solder and just geek out on stuff, that might be the way to go. But in my case, there are very few things that are too geeky for me to <laughs> try. You put the mic in, you've got to be careful that the wire doesn't cover the, the snap for the cheek pad. So it's, real estate is at a premium in helmets, obviously. There. All right, I'm gonna put it on my noggin and see if I can tell the difference. Oh yeah, <laughs> way better. Very nice. This is beyond totally cranked for the original speakers. And this is like on probably not even half. So I say excellent. Um, it was totally worth the effort, so if you're a geek like me, give it a go. Cheers!